Jeff Neal. Yeah, don't blink in this one. Here are the numbers for the tail of the tape. Williams, at 34 years old, is eight years older than Neal. Slight arm advantage goes to Neal, and leg reach goes Williams' way. Let's meet our combatants and return to the LFA Octagon and Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the LFA welterweight division. It is brought to you by Alienware, the ultimate gaming experience. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This striker stands six foot one, weighed in 168.7 pounds, holding a professional record, eight wins, three defeats, with four wins coming by way of knockout, two via submission. Training out of Next Gen and fighting out of McKinney, Texas, Bilal Tiger Williams. His opponent across the octagon fighting out of the red corner is a striker standing 5 foot 11, weighed in 170.5 pounds, holding a professional record, six wins, two defeats, with three wins coming by way of knockout, one via submission. Training out of Fortis MMA and fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Jeff, hands of steel, Neil. You ready to charge in the action, Aladdin Martinez. All right, gentlemen, I want you to obey my commands at all times. I want you to touch gloves, go back to your corners, and I'll call you out. According to MMAOddsBreaker.com and Nick Kalikas, the money coming in late on Jeff Neal. He was a minus 115 favorite. That has gone up to minus 180. Belial Williams plus 140. Two right, big men that go. love to strike. This one should be fun. These guys sparred with each other six weeks ago before they knew that they were going to be fighting each other. Bilal said he went to his gym for an open mat, to Jeff's gym for an open mat. And said Jeff knocked him around a little bit, but he said, that I didn't want to come in and get cocky and go crazy in his gym, you know, first time there, things like that. So uh, he said, I think that as Jeff Neal's going to come in overconfident, and I think he basically felt that that would, would play to his favor. Absolutely. Williams said that uh, he feels someone is going to get knocked out in this fight. Jeff Neal, the legacy product, 2 and 0. Oh. Williams, he's fought some tough competition too, Pat. His opponent win loss record 64 up and 50 down. Ooh, Whips nice. on that one, and Neal counters. Good job getting out of the way and coming right back. Just didn't turn the hips over. And you just have the feeling this one could end in just spectacular fashion. Ball's hands down, chin up. Boy, that style just makes me nervous. Jeff Neal, the strong southpaw striker. He's also a blue belt in BJJ. And Williams said his game plan is simple as Neil attacks again. Strike and move is what Williams told us. Nice rear leg to the liver. Williams misses with the uppercut and Neil nice capitalizes. Two impressive strikers here. Ten and one as an amateur. Five first round finishes before turning pro. Six and two now, and he's moving in on Williams. High kick, just misses the target. You know, a guy that moves his head as well as Neil does. You've got to use a lot. I mean, you should anyway. Fundamentally, use a lot of feints and fakes, and get people moving and flinching to things that aren't even coming at them. While all not doing that really a whole lot. Every time he throws something, it's for real. Midway through this first round, scheduled for three in the LFA welterweight division. Neil really countered well, and that one pushed Williams back too. That's what he said he wanted to do. So this one will be a war of attrition. <laughs> he thinks both fighters will be extremely exhausted after this fight. 
Jeff Neal going at the same time as Bilal trying to catch him. Moved his head on the way in. Smart. Continues to move forward. Williams trying to get away, circling around. Right straight, just gets through. Nice. Big combination from Neal. Williams is in trouble. Jeff Neal teeing off on Williams now. Wow, wow, wow. And now Neal falls oh, down. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Can Williams capitalize on this? Bilal needs to get position and not worry about that submission. He was so, so much after the neck that forgot about position. And now Jeff coming back with a nice takedown. Interesting point there. Neal was, looked like he had Williams hurt. Looks like, looked like. <laughs> You're saying he was, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no gray area there. Easy for me to say though here, sitting cave side, under a minute Look at Jeff Neal grabbing yeah. Bilal's throat. That is legal as long as you don't squeeze the windpipe. Jeff Neal, three wins by way of TKO. Likes this position. Williams hanging on, trying to keep Neal close to him, but the power of Jeff Neal gets up, and I think he's, yes, indeed, says, let's start this thing on its feet. Jeff Neal striking is really crisp. Oh, what a combination! Wow. Lyle Williams is out! Spectacular knockout from Jeff Neal. Wow. Talk about legs coming out from underneath somebody. He just collapsed straight down. What an impressive way to end this fight. And Williams is on his back. Williams still hurt from the previous shots that he took. Knockout. Knockout. Pat, you just called it saying Jeff Neal's his striking is on point tonight. Yeah, great head movement, footwork, feints and fakes, great counters, getting out of the way of Bilal Williams. And also, something that very few MMA guys do, throwing at the same time as his opponent when they come at you. Look, move your head offline, make sure you're covering your ass, and then let go at the same time, and you'll catch people coming in a lot of times. He's, he's got good instincts, he's been coached well. Another one of those Fortis MMA fighters from Safe Saad. Safe Saad, Safe Saad might, might actually know what he's doing. Yeah, I know a few things. Good to see Lyle Williams up on yeah. his feet. We check it out, Pat. Lyle taking a shot here. And that didn't look like a lot there on the chin. He had been rocked before that, so doesn't take a whole lot. There's the left right on the jaw. He was already hurt. Probably not real sure where he was at, to be honest with you, before he got hit with these shots. Yeah. You can see the legs just go out, just the wires got crossed. You can see that impact. Nice little stinging uppercut. That wasn't a huge, huge punch there. He just didn't see it coming. And yeah. Like I said, he was already hurt. Doesn't take a lot more. Nice win for Hands of Steel back into the LFA Octagon to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Aladdin Martinez calls the call to stop the fight in four minutes, 43 seconds into the first round for your winner by knockout, Jeff Hands of Steel Neal. Jeff Neal had a tough task tonight. He passed it impressively, improves to seven and two, and he's standing by with Phoenix. Hands of Steel, very appropriate nickname. You guys had sparred, actually, just a couple weeks before. Did that give you confidence going into this fight? Uh, not really. We only sparred for a three-minute round, just one. Uh, it wasn't really enough time to see what we both had, so I didn't feel I didn't have no problem sparring him or fighting him today. You did walk into this fight very confident. How are you feeling right now? I uh, feel, feel great, you know. I mean, I expected to win, you know, but now it's here and it happened, so I feel amazing. Did you expect to win by knockout? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Now, what are you looking forward to for your future? A uh, couple more fights, hopefully get in the UFC and be a UFC champ. Uh, fantastic, very impressive win this evening. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Thank you.
Jeff Neal improves to seven and two. Nice work from that young man tonight. Well, the bad boys are up next. Steven Peterson looks to get back in the winner's circle after a title shot in January. He faces the always game Ryan Hollis when Access TV Fights rolls on.